welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am running through a new year cleaning checklist that i have created myself so if you haven't already make sure you're set with a pen and paper maybe a nice cozy drink of choice and just sit back put your feet up relax and hopefully this video will give you the motivation to get kick started this year with a bit of a clean a bit of an organize which i honestly think is the best thing to do to start the year off in the best possible way I feel like if you have a clear space a clean space makes for a clear mind which I just think is the most productive way to be able to start a brand new year so before I share with you my very lengthy list of things that I need to get done by the way this list is definitely not things that I only do once a year it's just things that are on my current to-do list which I feel like all of these things are a real good way to start a brand new year but anyway before i get into sharing with you the items that i have on my list today's video is in partnership with cherries cherries is an online app which if you haven't heard of them before it essentially is an app that sells all things household related they've got real bargain finds on there if you're anything like me you guys know I love a bargain. So if you haven't yet tried it, I do very kindly have a discount code with them. So all you need to do is click the link in the description box where you can click through to Cherries, browse all of their amazing new in bits this week. That's the section that I'm always on, along with all the other sections like home, household, pet, toys, all sorts. Basically like a one-stop shop for all your household essentials that gets delivered straight to your front door so no need to even leave your house. And just a heads up, if you are new to Cherries, you can take advantage of 25% off your first order and free shipping off your next three orders with the discount code FREA25. And if you are already an existing customer, then you can use the discount code FREA free at checkout, which will get you free shipping. This is valid until the 19th of Jan so make sure to get in your orders quick. If you want to join the team buying feature we have a pretty strong team of all of us little shoppers that love cherries and essentially if you join a team you can earn cash back in cherries cash which can get you money off your future orders. So you get little notifications when someone on your team has made a purchase and then that gives you a certain amount of time to log in make your order and both earn cash back. It's a win-win really. So I'll leave all the information below but I'm going to jump in to sharing with you that some of the things that I have picked up to restock my cleaning cupboard. First things first, I stocked up on some kitchen roll. Again, by the fact that you're ordering from the comfort of your own home, gives you the flexibility to order bulky items like this that you don't have to carry around. Then I also got some cleaning gloves. These ones I thought looked really nice. They've got the little silicone rubber bits on there and they are in grey. Then I also picked up a washing bowl. We don't actually currently have one in our sink. Also to be able to pop some Zaflora in the sink and hot water and it makes the room smell amazing. Storage solutions are a fail safe way to get things organised. I picked up three of these white storage boxes that they have. I believe they had these in grey as well and I think they had some bigger ones but I picked up these ones. I thought these would be good in a kitchen for like food storage and it comes with the little handle with the lid as well. So I've got three of those. And then for cleaning bathrooms and things, I picked up some marigolds. I also always like to stock up on my minky cloths from Cherries. They have pretty much every one they have. So this one is one of my faves for glass and windows. I use these on mirrors or chrome surfaces as well. Really, really handy that one. And then a high-tech duster, kitchen cloth, and a multi-purpose, general purpose cloth as well. I got some new dishmatics. These are the black ones. I got a scrub daddy and a scrub a scrub mummy. I'm I'm not sure what the difference is. Jewel sided scrubber and sponge. And then I also picked up to go with that, which I've never owned before. One of the actual holders for the scrub daddy. So you can just pop this sort of behind your sink and have it easy access for when you're cleaning. I actually have a wash on currently of all the pet bedding and with his towels and bedding i always pop in a sachet of this vermouth pet hair dissolver it just really helps dissolve the hairs in the wash speaking of pet products i also picked up this minky this is the pet promises antibacterial pad I like to differentiate cleaning his stuff with ours and then i got this pet bowl dishmatic as well great for just washing his bowl so we don't have to use our dishmatic on his raw food bowl i got some Domestos pine 
block things for the toilet. I also stocked up on some bin bags, especially with it being the new year and clear outs are in order. Spare bin bags are always super handy. For charity shop runs as well. I also got one of these multi-purpose silicone scrubber from that diamond range, like the gloves that I got earlier. So it's the same color and material. These are really good because they're silicone. They rinse down and wash really easily. So it doesn't hold loads of bacteria like a sponge does. I got some new Lenore Outdoor Balls. These are ultra concentrated, so they're 36 washers per thing. And it'd be handy if they did like a bigger version of these because they honestly smell amazing. And then when we are doing our washing or towels or bedding and I want to give it that extra hit of, oh, it smells so good, extra hit of nice smellies, nice scented products. I use these Lenore Unstoppable Beads. I also got this as a Flora Multipurpose Disinfectant Cleaner. They do these already diluted in the spray bottle ones now, which are super handy. This one is in cucumber and mint, a nice fresh scent for the new year. And then on the odd occasion that I do use wipes, I also got these from does it? I've never used this brand before, just multi-surface wipes. I also just got a hob cleaner and then that same brand, Does It, also do this bin odor neutralizer in lemon. And then I've never seen this fairy washing up liquid before, but it's in the orange scent. And I love that kind of citrusy scent. So it's clean and fresh orange. Still have a little bit of my Christmas fairy left over, but as soon as that's gone, I will be using that. Alongside the Lenore Outdoorables, I do also like to use my fairy. So not only do cherries do loads of cleaning products, as I've already shown you, they also have a beauty section, which they have some really nice brands on there. So I picked up Samaret's Original in the shade Dark. Yeah, dark. This is their tanning mousse. In the beauty section, I also picked up these little claw grips. I like to use these just to put my hair out my face on a pretty much an everyday basis. And they had them in black and brown as well, but I thought the clear was just a nice alternative, really. Like I was saying earlier with kitchen roll, toilet roll, being a big bulky item is always something that I like to order on cherries just so I don't have to carry it around with me. And this one is actually scented lemon fresh. I have stocked up on a couple of new baking trays, there's actually two here. Then I got some Astonish bathroom cleaner. And last but not least, some Lenore crease releases. I like to use these on bedding in particular because I'm not the sort of person that irons their bedding. So that is everything that I have picked up from Cherries to kickstart my cleaning for the new year. Don't forget to take advantage of those discount codes and all the information will be linked in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into my new year checklist so first thing on my list and first thing for i guess anyone at this time of the year is to take down the christmas decorations if you haven't already now i'm not gonna lie this is a sad time to be taking them down but it's also quite refreshing to have a bit of a clean clear out through them and just get your kind of home and space back because they do take up quite a bit of space but also have a bit of a clear out of them any ones that you didn't use and you thought am I really going to use them again next year donate them another thing that I would always recommend doing is a sofa wash or a pet bed wash now I'm quite lazy when it comes to washing our sofa cushions I'm not gonna lie, I don't do it that often. So for me, with it being a brand new year, it is an excuse to just get the sofa properly washed, throw all the cushion covers in the wash so that they have a good deep wash on a hot cycle. And then similarly, if you've got any rugs or doormats, even curtains, I suppose not only curtains like in a bedroom or a living room, but also in a bathroom if you use, um, if you have a shower curtain to get that washed as well. And then something that you probably don't think about and you put at the back of your mind is if you've got a chimney or a fireplace to have that properly cleaned even have a professional come and do it as well and similarly with an oven an oven clean is never a nice job also another area that can be neglected quite easily is windows so by giving your windows a deep clean it helps not only to have a nice clean, I'm looking at a window now have a nice clean window that one definitely needs a deep clean um on the inside and the outside but also on the inside of all the window kind of closures, the window sills as well. And speaking of ovens, microwaves, any kind of household appliances, I always like to run them on a wash as well. So 
the washing machine for one, a dishwasher as well, just to run on an empty hot cycle. I like to descale my kettle, clean the toaster, the coffee machines, and then sticking with kitchen to disinfect the kitchen bin is an absolute must. Obviously I do this more than once a year, but also to do the outside bins as well. And whilst on the topic of the kitchen, to do a good fridge clear out and cupboard clear out of any out of date products, and just to get that space back in working order. If there's any food like that's unopened that you think, oh, I'm not gonna use that, donate it to the food bank. And then when it comes to emptying the fridge, I like to give it a proper clean as well. And also to restock it when you do eventually go out and do your first grocery shop for the new year, make sure you get loads of color, like fill the fridge with green and fresh fruit and veg and just restock it with health. So I feel like our bodies need it after Christmas and New Year. The dreaded Tupperware cupboard is just always a nightmare. I feel like storing Tupperware can be a real headache sometimes. I've found the best way to store Tupperware is to have all the actual Tupperware boxes together and then the lids separately. So you can kind of stack the boxes within each other and then the lids all kind of slot in wherever because they're so flat and take up no space. Clear everything out, have a good look through, make sure everything's matching, any mismatch items or things that you've got missing get rid of and then if you feel like the need to buy in new I find glass Tupperware to be the best as opposed to plastic if you put a lasagna in a plastic Tupperware it just gets stained straight away and then in our kitchen we also have our medicine cabinet so again any out-of-date medicines that you need to get rid of or vitamins and then make sure you're fully stocked for the year should you need to ever have anything like paracetamols ibuprofen first aid kits and then also under sink cupboards as well as another task that you could go through any kind of leftover cleaning products that you've only got a little bit left of that you've kind of put to the back of the cupboard recycle them now when it comes to the bedroom i feel like with it being the new year you can fully treat yourself to brand new bedding if that's something that you feel that you have been in need of brand new bedding brand new pjs slippers have a bit of a refresh in the bedroom and then when it comes to the mattress, I think it's always a good time of the year to just flip the mattress, give it a good vacuum as well. I'm not even sure how often you're meant to rotate your mattress, but even if you just do it once a year at the start of the year, then that's one tick off the list. And next up, this is a task that I actually really enjoy doing. I know a lot of people absolutely dread it, but having a wardrobe purge and clear out for me, I get so much satisfaction from emptying the entire contents of a wardrobe, really being ruthless into organizing things into categories, putting a pile for a donation pile or a sell pile, and also moving on to sort of makeup and beauty, similarly to have a big purge of that. You can see on the back of beauty products that you've opened, they have a little symbol, it's usually in a circle or what looks like a pot, with um, either 6M or 12M or 24M, however long the expiration of a product is once you've opened it, so that you can look at that and think, oh, that's only a six month expiration period once you've opened it, and I've had that open well over a year. Maybe time to get rid and get a brand new one, because let's face it, the health of our skin and hair and anything that you use for beauty is well worth the non-breakouts and getting in new and replacing the old. It's also another task that obviously you do more than once a year, however it can be a task that, at least in my case, I put off and off and off, and that's cleaning your makeup brushes. Now I feel like the easiest way to clean your makeup brushes is with the Style Pro brush cleaner, which I've mentioned before. And that is actually definitely a task that I need to prioritize because it's been a while since I've cleaned my makeup brushes. I also wanted to mention storage systems like these boxes that I picked up from Cherries. So having a good selection of storage to be able to put within drawers, within cupboards, wardrobes, wherever it may be to have everything organized just helps, I don't know, for me anyway, de-stress the mind. And then also when it comes to clothing and beauty to have storage systems, clothing in particular, if you've not watched Marie Kondo and her folding method, it's kind of a system whereby you roll them up, it takes up a lot less space and you can see everything rather than it being piled up in a drawer. 
you can only see the item on top. And then throughout the year, it's quite nice to kind of stick to the one in one out policy with your clothes. So if you do buy something new, then maybe it's time to replace an older item that you don't use. It could be something that you could teach your kids if you've got them after Christmas with any new toys that they've had for Christmas from Santa to be able to do a toy purge and clear out, donate them, teach them the, the rewards and the benefits of donating older toys to make room for their new ones. Next up is a very boring, but yet again, one of those checklist items. Check your alarm batteries, replace any light bulbs that have gone, any kind of snagging lists with the house that needs doing. Even by just doing a checklist of everything you need to get done, that helps because then you can see it all in front of you and throughout the first couple of months of the year you can just get things ticked off as and when you can if you've got any old flowers lying around the house replace them with new why not it's a fresh new start you've taken all your decorations down you need something to replace them so a brand new bunch of flowers is a great way to start the new year and then in terms of exterior house exterior jet wash cars having a garage clear out, or if you've got a basement to clear out. These are definitely things that take time, but it's definitely something that you could add to your new year checklist of things that need to get done. And then last but not least, I feel like with all of the checklist items, it can feel a bit overwhelming. I feel like you need to reward yourself. Like I was saying, treating yourself to some new bedding, some new PJs and slippers, if you didn't get any for Christmas. But also another thing to treat yourself to is a new home fragrance. Go for a bit of a luxury or something that you've really always wanted but never purchased. I know that quite often places like the White Company have uh, New Year's sales that you could take advantage of. So if you're wanting a bit of luxury, you've always wanted a new White Company candle. I feel like the New Year is the time to do it once you've cleaned all your spaces, done loads of your checklist items and treat yourself to a brand new home fragrance. It could be a fresh new start with a fresh new fragrance. So let me know what is gonna be your home fragrance choice this year for the start of 2022, I was gonna say 2021 then, we're definitely past 2021 now. Feel like everyone is ready for a brand new year, brand new start, and I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year yourself. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you to Cherries for kindly working with me on this video and of course giving you guys a discount code to use as well. Freya25 if you are new to Cherries and Freya Free if you are an existing customer. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing, whether it's cleaning or whether it's bookmarking this for maybe starting tomorrow, then I hope you have a lovely rest of your day nonetheless. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.